They formed the greatest front court in the history of professional basketball. and five trips to the NBA Finals. They are each future Hall of Famers. And as teammates for 12 years, it is only appropriate that their numbers will share the same banner above the floor forever. At this time, please welcome Kevin McHale, who will be making a special presentation to Robin. And now, Larry Bird will be presenting Robert with a special gift with an inscription that reads, For your banner years in Boston and your tenacious style of play as the Iron Man of the NBA, for an invaluable role you played as the ultimate team player, for your unparalleled contributions to the Boston Celtics history, we thank you and congratulate you. Together once again, on the parquet floor, the Big Three! bring up the leprechaun of this organization is the only one that has participated in each of the Celtics 16 NBA championships today he marks his 21st retirement ceremony and he's responsible for orchestrating the trade that brought Robert Parrish to Boston ladies and gentlemen Red Auerbach will be presenting a special gift to Robert that is inscribed with the following. You left an indelible mark on the parquet while high above the rim. You set the standards. Congratulations on the raising of double zero to the rafters.
Thank you, Tommy. Isn't it, one, isn't it wonderful to see Robert Parrish smile? He was so intense before and after a game that you could see the wheels spinning. He never cracked a smile. You know, he's one of the few ball players in all my experiences that was so well liked, not only by his teammates, but liked and respected by his opponents. One exception. One exception. And this exception was the only time I got mad at him. This exception was the bad man from Detroit. <laughs> who Parrish knocked on his... I was mad. I was mad because the guy got up. You're honoring Parrish. He, if ever guy ever deserved it, naturally was he. Was he. I uh, would like to repeat one more time, as Tommy just said at the beginning, Robert Parrish not only came to play, he came to win. And I know that he'll be a winner his whole life, and I want to join with all of you and wishing him the very best for what he does in the future. Thank you very much. I want to, uh, first of all, thank uh, the Boston Celtics for this day. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege, and I'm definitely flattered by the acknowledgement of having my number retired and raised in the rafters with the other great Celtics. I've spent 14 glorious years here in, in Boston. It was a great time. I enjoyed it. Very special. Also, I'd like to thank all the coaches that I've had out through my career, especially my junior high school coach, because without his persistence, I wouldn't be standing here today. Because... Growing up, I never, I never liked basketball, and he, believe it or not, <laughs> but my junior high school coach was so persistent and, and kept after me and after me until I uh, came out for the team, had a couple of trials, and, and uh, started to like it just a little bit. <laughs> also, I'd like to thank um, my chiropractor. Uh, <laughs> yes, the body is not what it used to be. And I'd like to thank my, uh, a very special thanks to my martial arts instructor who taught me patience and, and, and pause and focus. Also, another special thanks to Ed LeCirc, which is one of the best trainers in the league. To all my great teammates I've had for making this day possible. Thank you.
made my job a lot easier. And I definitely want to thank my accountant. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I would like to thank my, my family um, and my best friend, Clifford Ray. Uh, when I first came to the league in 1976, he took me on his wings and, and taught me all about work ethic, taking your job seriously, taking care of yourself. So I want to thank him. Also, I'd like to thank my mother and father for what I am and who I am today. Thank you. Thank you. Also, I want to thank my girl, Michelle, for unconditional support and patience. Been very patient with Robert Parrish. Thank you. And certainly, last but not least, I want to thank you, the fans. I want to definitely give you a very special thanks because you have supported me when I was playing well, wasn't playing well, when I was with another team. Your, your support has been unconditional. Thank you very much. And now, in a tradition that has bridged generations of Celtic legends, Red Auerbach and Robert Parrish will hoist another number to the rafters. It's halftime in Boston. The Celtics leading the Pacers by one. We'll send it back for the second half right after these messages.